faculty members and participants good afternoon and a very warm welcome to the one week online certificate course on computational mathematics mathematical software mathematica maxima and r big organized by department of mathematics atma ram sanatan dharm college atma ram sanatan dharm college popularly known as arsv college is a leading institution of the country with all india the 12th rank in nirs the college has been accredited with grade a by nat in its first cycle arsv college originally known as sanatan dharm college was founded in august 1959 it shifted to its current location in july 1965 since then the college has continuously strived for holistic development of all its stakeholders in the recent years under the able guidance of our principal sir college has seen immense growth in all areas particularly in undergraduate research entrepreneurial initiatives skill development strong industry institution linkages for sustainable growth in these areas college has taken up various initiatives The college was awarded the Star College Scheme by the Department of Biotechnology, that is DBT, Government of India, under which undergraduate research is promoted. Various centers like Skill Development and Entrepreneurship Cell, Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurial Leadership, Business Incubation Center have been established to support skill development, entrepreneurial initiatives. also college has a very active placement cell which regularly organizes job and internship fair that boosts the placement of our students the college is enthusiastically working towards its goal uh, towards its motto that is tejasvi nav aditam astu which means may our learning be endowed with radiance department of mathematics was established in year 1962 currently the department has 20 faculty members and they specialize in various fields of research like complex analysis relational mechanics topology and data sciences operator theory operational research and many more the department has published more than 60 research papers in the last 5 years in journals of international repute with indexing in sci and sci our students are pursuing their masters and doctoral program in various iits and nits many are also working in reputed organizations like city bank jp morgan and sn young state bank of india the department has an active mathematics society quaternion that regularly organizes several programs and workshops for students as well as faculty members our department is one of the four departments covered under the star college scheme and it organizes several events in collaboration with the other department now i request principal sir professor gyantosh kumar jha to please say a few words प्रियंका मैम मैम प्रिंसिपल सर इज कनेक्टेड बट हिज माइक इज नॉट कनेक्टेड येट आई थिंक देयर इज सम प्रॉब्लम ऑफ इंटरनेट ओके ओके सो आई थिंक देन वी शुड वेट और व्हाट वी शुड डू अनिल सर अनिल सर कैन यू प्लीज कंफर्म फ्रॉम सर यस यस सर राजकुमार सर आ हां यस सर यू आर ऑडिबल अगेन सर आपकी माइक म्यूट हो गई है thank you thank you priyanka 
Uh, I think uh, guest has joined, Priyanka. Yes, sir. Tuteja sir has joined the meeting. Okay. Okay. Yes, uh, my dear friend, uh, Professor G.S. Tuteja, Department of Mathematics, Jakir Hussain Delhi College, University of Delhi, and uh, our guest speaker. Uh, convener of this program, uh, Mr. Anil Kumar Rajak, uh, teacher in charge of mathematics department, uh, Mr. Rajkumar Bhagat, Dr. Priyanka Yadav, and other colleagues and my dear students. On behalf of ARSD College, I welcome all the participants who have joined this uh, com computational mathematical software training uh, for one week, which is organized by our uh, Department of Mathematics in collaboration with IQAC of the college. I'm glad uh, that uh, these kind of training sessions are organized, being organized for the benefit of students. And uh, I'm happy to know that uh, around 160 students have joined. Uh, for this uh, training program. So my uh, best wishes to the organizers and especially uh, Mr. Rajak, uh, who has done very hard work for this program, Mr. Rajkumar Bhagat also. So, uh, and I hope that uh, the mathematics department will continue with these kind of workshops, training programs, uh, lecture series for the benefit of students because I, I, I believe that the students get more benefited uh, through these kind of programs. Uh, although they learn in the classroom also, but beyond classroom teaching also, uh, they should get opportunity uh, to learn. So you are uh, providing these kind of opportunities to our students. So uh, my congratulations lessons to the organizers and best wishes also. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for your kind words. We are indeed very thankful to you that despite your busy schedule, you have taken out time to be with us. Now I request Rajkumar Bhagat, sir, teacher in charge department of mathematics and course convener to say a few words. Thank you, Pidenka. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, being teacher in charge and of Department of Mathematics and uh, course convener of one week certificate course on computational mathematics, Mathematica Maxima and R software. Uh, <clears throat> I welcome you all in this one week program. Uh, this one week course is designed uh, in such a way that uh, it serves uh, people across the stream and discipline. Um, as you know, uh, we have taken three uh, software, uh, Maxima, Mathematica, and R. Uh, Maxima is a free software, as you all know, and uh, uh, R is also a free software, and Mathematica is paid software. Mathematica and Maxima is basically computer algebra system, and uh, it deals with the uh, different uh, stream of mathematics and science. And our software is uh, especially for statistical uh, analysis. Uh, so uh, we beautifully try to bundle three different software uh, in this course, which serve the uh, uh, different stream of people, whether they are teacher or professional or students, or research scholar. So if you successfully uh, complete this course, I hope you will get a uh, uh, benefit from uh, this one big program. As we know, uh, we are uh, living in the entirely new world where a massive amount of data generated every moment. As you know, uh, there are several social network platform and other uh, e-commerce platform. And there are many, um, things happening online, which generates data. And we all know these data have a lot of hidden information. And if we uh, apply some appropriate tool 
uh, on this data, it gives us very beautiful and informative results. And not many disciplines of science emerge these days, uh, which uh, are based on data analysis, like uh, whether uh, if, if, if you talk in a broader framework that is artificial intelligence, and inside, inside this artificial intelligence, there are not a lot many fields, uh, whether it is deep learning or uh, uh, data mining, um, artificial neural network. These, uh, these days, a uh, lot many algorithm, hybrid algorithm like a neuro fuzzy network, these are emerging and all are based on these data analysis. So uh, this R software, another mathematical uh, software which you uh, learn across, uh, during one week program, uh, it is going to help you uh, in your career advancement. Uh, so I hope uh, you all will enjoy this one week certificate course and it will certainly going to uh, enhance your skill and help you in your career uh, uh, enhancement. Uh, I will request to all the participants, please uh, successfully try to complete this course and uh, not only join this course to get a certificate, join this source to uh, uh, gain knowledge and uh, 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 enhance your skills. So my best wishes to all the participants and I hope you will enjoy this course and you will get a uh, lot many things out of it. Thank you, thank you very much. Thanks a lot, sir, for giving a brief outline about the course and for the suggestions. And I, once again, on the behalf of Department of Mathematics, ARSB College, I extend a very warm welcome to all the participants, and I hope that you really benefit from this course. To start today's session, I invite Mr. Anil Kumar Rajak from Department of Mathematics to carry on for me. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Professor G.S. Tukeja, sir. Uh... आप मेरी आवाज सुन पा रहे हैं सर सर यू आर गेटिंग माय वॉइस यस आई कैन ओके कैन आई प्रोसीड या श्योर सर या या थैंक यू ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स आत्माराम सनातन धर्म कॉलेज यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ दिल्ली एंड ऑर्गेनाइजिंग कमेटी आई अनिल कुमार रजक वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर दिस सेशन ऑफ डे 1 ऑफ 1 वीक ऑनलाइन सर्टिफिकेट कोर्स on computational mathematical software mathematica maxima and r for today's session we have among us our respected guest speaker professor gurpreet singh tuteja professor gs tuteja is a professor in the department of mathematics jatir husain delhi college university of delhi uh, professor gs tuteja is also a joint dean students welfare university of delhi He received his PhD degree in mathematics from the University of Delhi and has experience of more than 25 years. He has done a lot of work in popularizing CAS computer algebra system and R. He is also a Microsoft certified software developer and an associate member of the Insurance Institute of India. Being a popular teacher, he was awarded the Distinguished Teacher Award by the University of Delhi. while serving as deputy dean students welfare university of delhi professor gs tuteja has served in sgt university gurugram as a pro vice chancellor during 2018 to 2020 he has also served as a chodi of mathematics in muscat oman professor tuteja has published several research papers in national and international journals and he is also a uh, author of the popular book practical mathematics using maxima so on this occasion i uh, welcome you again sir now to start this session i invite our respected guest speaker professor gs tuteja sir who will be discussing on understanding conjectures using maxima programming professor gs tuteja sir over to you thank you thank you so much uh, honorable principal professor gyantosh jha sir dr priyanka yadav डॉक्टर राजकुमार भगत टीआईसी एंड कोर्स कोऑर्डिनेटर कोर्स कन्वीनर डॉक्टर अनिल कुमार रजक आई एम थैंकफुल टू ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर इनवाइटिंग मी इन दिस लेक्चर मैक्सिमा सी आई हैव बीन यूजिंग दिस मैक्सिमा मैक्सिमा कंप्यूटर एलजेब्रा सिस्टम फॉर लास्ट आई वुड लाइक टू से दैट मोर देन मोर देन ट्वेंटी ईयर्स तो इट्स सच अ 
such a old uh, i mean stabilized uh, software if you if you go by uh, its uh, history then it says that uh, this particular software was born somewhere in 1982 and even if even before your mathematica earlier it was used to be called as maxima and the person who who should be credited for this is bill shelter and he gave the rights in uh, he he used to maintain it and then in 2001 it became before 2001 even it became uh, it was brought under gpl gpl means general public license which means that it is a open source software so if you wish to use it you can you can use it without paying it you can transfer to others without uh, without of much uh, hitch and you can even uh, make certain changes in it nobody will mind it but only thing is that if you are uploading any uh, thing uh, in that software then you have to make the uh, make that uh, software make that code public so that's the definition of the open source open source is uh, you know it's a, a little bit different from what we understand freeware in freeware you may not get the source code but here you can always ask the inventor or the developer to give you the source code for example you may get the older windows as a freeware you can always uh, use it nobody will mind it i'm telling you those windows which are you know which microsoft says that it is now obsolete you can use them without having the uh, licenses but they will never give you the source code here the important thing is that if you wish to see what is the source code for a particular function you can always demand for it i'm sorry for my throat i'm still passing through <laughs> uh, covid so i may get uh, certain you know problems in my uh, throat uh, please bear with me uh, i'll try to clear it off as soon as possible but you never know uh, this is natural and it comes any time so uh, i'm starting with the basic uh, that maximize a computer algebra system why we should call any software as computer algebra system is there any definition for computer algebra system is there any uh, typical words should be used for computer algebra system can we call r also as a computer algebra system so these are many questions which must be coming into your mind that why why r why this uh, maxima is called as computer algebra system mathematica is also called as computer algebra system but we never call r as a as a computer algebra system we call it is as a statistical software while if you see r r has its own language r has uh, everything you need it but there are certain reservations in r which which uh, a cas should have so i'll ask you uh, i'll um, ask you to probe into it what are the reservations which r has and mathematica and maxima do not have the best thing a computer algebra system should have is number 1 it should have arbitrary precision what does that mean i want to calculate say a precision of 10 raised to the power 10 can my ma maxima do it yes it can do it i wish to do anything in partial differentiation can maxima do it yes it can do it same is the case with the mathematica you have arbitrary precision but in r you may not have arbitrary in your calculator as well you may not get arbitrary precision you get precision up to only finite significant digit maybe 14 maybe 16 maybe 18 or 20 even but you cannot have it say if i ask for 50 digits then it may not your calculator will not same is the case with here you can extend it to any significant digit that is the best part and this is what a mathematician is always looking after because they have to solve uh, problems of uh, large magnitude maybe when you are 
uh, trying to calculate a problem related to the distance between planetary uh, bodies, then you require uh, some software which can handle it now. So it can handle it. Uh, how to download it? Is it available for your particular operating system? Maybe you are in Linux, maybe you are on Windows, some uh, say 32-bit, uh, 64-bit, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, Windows 11, whatever Windows are there. So it is available for all Windows, don't worry about it. And you have to install it. Right now I'm saying you can install it. If you don't want to install it, then there, there is uh, some something for you also, if you don't want to install it. If, you, if suppose you are working on your iPad, and uh, there is no way to, because I can see Tanvi is on iPad. So that just reminds me, Tanvi can also use uh, this software uh, without installing it. So that is the best thing. Uh, whatever, whatever operating system you have, uh, there is a downloadable EXE file. If you are using say Mac operating system, you, you can also download it. But for iPad, you have to, uh, you have to use uh, that is called as live maxima. So I will tell you from where to get live maxima. I will show it to you. And then those who can install it, they can install it right now. It will take hardly five minutes. You can install it. By the time it is being installed, what you can do is you can uh, work on uh, live maxima, uh, that website, particular website, I will show you. And you can start working on it with me. The moment it, it is installed, then you can shift it, shift yourself to software. So uh, am I permitted to share the screen? Yes, sir. Thank you. So hope my screen is visible. Yes, sir, it is visible. It is visible. All right. So let's see. Uh, I just opened a uh, blank, you know, uh, this uh, internet browser. This is my Chrome. So simply I have opened it and I just want to show you that from where you can get Max. So you just write Maxima here. Maxima, if you see, you will get uh, many things like Maxima Minima Calculator. You may get Maxima uh, Max Pro X6 and then Maxima watches are there. They, they will always trouble you. So write Maxima CAS. And if you wish to write download, it is fine. If you don't wish to write download, then also you will get website. So now the house for the home for uh, Maxima is source forge. So it means that source forge means that it is an open source because most of the open source uh, software are, uh, you know, they, they have been put here. They have been, uh, you know, they have their home here. So they, they are, you know, Normally, uh, they, they, they live here. I would like to say the word live here. And you can find here that uh, Linux is available, DSD is available, Windows is. So these are uh, some softwares, uh, I mean operating systems, wherein you can use it. And then you see a Mac OS, Windows, source. If you wish to see the source code of it, you can download the source code as well. Then Maxima Linux and then the old versions are so <laughs> if you wish to obtain uh, say updates you can uh, you can always uh, uh, get updates and you can even become member of the mailing list if you see here at the top it says that mailing if you wish to see the wikipedia you just click it it will take you to wikipedia so i am here sourceforge.net projects or slash maximum if uh, Somebody is uh, there. If I can paste the link for you, then uh, is it possible for me to paste the link for all of you? Because I'm more uh, proficient in Microsoft and Google. I never use this room. Being paid, we don't have the access. Uh, I, I would request uh, Dr. Rajkumar, Bhatt. can you please uh, uh, send this link to everyone? so that they can always download. Sorry, we have Sorry, uh, I shared uh, all the links of different software. All right. So I already shared the link uh, to download. That's these. great. That's great. So my uh, half of the job is done. 
So I need not work on this. I'll tell you only this that maximum 5.4, uh, uh, 5.1, it's Windows 64 EXE. Windows 64 EXE means that it is a 64 bit. If your Windows is 32 bit, then you have to go for it. How to check that whether your Windows is 32 bit or 64 bit? You can go to your PC icon here. You may have a different, little different icon here. Mine is little different. It doesn't matter. PC is a little. You can go into the properties. And when you see the property here, uh, you can find that it is a laptop, Intel Core 8 GB uh, with a RAM. And here, system type, it says that it is 64-bit operating system with uh, x64-based processor. It has got a pen support because I use that pen also. So it's fine. So your system, you can check whether your system is a 32-bit or 64-bit. Accordingly, you can download your software. So that's what I wanted to show you. And then I come back. Those who are uh, who, who can't install uh, software, believe me, here you can go ahead with it. But in Mathematica, you will face a little problem. And same uh, in R also, you will get somebody will tell you the website also where you can put the commands on the fly. We call it as software on the fly. And you can always use it, but it is always advisable to download the software and do it properly. <coughs> so if you cannot download it right now and you wish to practice somewhere, you are sitting in the staff room and you wish to practice it, then you can always log on to this website. You can uh, write here, Maxima, uh, gas, instead of download, you write uh, Sesga. Sesga, when you write, you get the first website, maxima.sesga.es. That is, ES stands for English. So you get a website like this. Can you see this uh, screen? Yes, sir. Screen is visible. Ah, right. So you see, you got this. Uh, I will remove everything from here. I don't want it because I'm going to start with a very basic and believe me, within one and a half hour, you will be proficient in <coughs> maxima. So I have removed everything, but if you, if you want that, it, uh, you want to see who, uh, how it works. So I will just press this click here button and it will start working. See, when I say expand, x minus 2 raised to the power 3 into x plus 1 by 3 raised to the power 2, it has expanded it in the form of series. If you ask for solving this, it has solved. In, uh, instead, I mean, it is in complex also, it can solve. <coughs> you wish to make a matrix out of this, these three rows, it has created and then it has inverted also. And it can integrate all. So this is what, these are some of the commands which it has written, it can draw also. You can do drawing also on this. So this particular board is helpful, but this please, please I am saying you that this is not the solution. This is just a helping hand. You can use it, but when you wish to, you know, save certain files, you will not get that facility. So what you have to do is whatever you work, you do, you from here, you uh, select everything, control A, control C and paste it in your word file. <laughs> that is how it will work. I'm sorry. Okay. So let's start some uh, some uh, this uh, calculation. Before that, I'll show you my maxima. I have installed my maxima. If you wish to see uh, about it, so you just click this about. It says that WX maxima. Now, what is WX maxima? That's a uh, question and why why I'm saying maxima and here it is written WX maxima. What is the difference between these two? See, maxima is a software, a core engine of WX Max. WX maxima is just a, this uh, you know interface. This GUI is called as uh, WX maxima. Actually, WX word comes from digital. So WX Maxima is this widget, which actually controls it. If you, if you write some command here, what it will do is it will tell the core uh, of the Maxima 
to do, perform that and whatever outcome is there, it will put it back on this. So <coughs> earlier, a uh, few years back, I'm talking of uh, say 10 years back, we had number of uh, GUIs which were made on Maxima. But slowly, uh, this came a successful runner and this is still available. The rest of the rest of the you know uh, QIs uh, died slowly, but this is still uh, working and it's a good software. Right? You can play with it. For example, you need some pains in Mathematica. Those you uh, those who use uh, Mathematica, they know this is called as the pains. And these pains are you know you can shift them wherever you feel like. So you can always move them like this. <coughs> then we have uh, you can have any number of pains here a lot of pains are here uh, say you want to do some statistical thing you can bring the statistical pain mean median variance deviation everything is here but only some there there is some difference you see in certain commands you will find that there are three dots and in certain command there are no dots in factor there is no common dot. in expand there is no dot in solve, there is what is the difference? I will not take this time because I wish to put you uh, on programming part. This you can learn on your own. There is no rocket science in it. Believe me, you can easily learn it. Easily means uh, when I say easily, means hardly two, three days. So if you wish, you don't want to see this. Okay. First, let me remove uh, this statistical one and then I will go back and uh, different. See, uh, I write expand. It gives expand. So, even in this, you can write expand x plus y raised to the power 3. Right? Yeah. 3. And then it gives the expansion. So this is the simple command. It says E is capital, but otherwise in command it is E is small. Then I try this solve. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, the bad throat is uh, really not allowing me, but anyway, I'll also take it as a challenge and you have to also accept this challenge to study from a COVID patient. Okay, so solve, if you see solve, when I click this button, I'll uh, show you again, nothing but uh, very difficult. When I press this solve, you get a menu. When I press this diff, you get a, you get this window. In dot dots, you get windows. While those commands which are without dot dot, they 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 do not give you window. If I press this factor, it simply is press the factor. It does the factor. It it combines it. But here, when I say differentiate, it will say okay, give me the expression. Right, it's a sign of x so say this is there variable x and time one time i want to differentiate so i press okay so differentiate sin x square x1 it does everything for you it will not uh, you know force you to remember the remember the remember this uh, command syntax so that is the best all right so that's what simple things I wanted to tell you before I shift myself to, uh, to, the, to, the, to the things which I actually want to show you and have a glimpse of. I close this window. Come on. Now I will begin with very simple and I will also ask you if you have installed it, fine. If not, then please start with, uh, please start with that. Just
So the first thing which we are going to learn, I'll remove all this. And believe me, these notes you will get on, on your own. Uh, I mean, I'll uh, put it. Uh, I'll ask the convener uh, in your mailbox or wherever you So we begin with, um, here I write maxima. We are going to study this maxima and uh, topic understanding. Conjectures. Now this is inter interesting. We will move to conjectures, but it will take time. And believe me, if you if you listen this lecture and if you understand this, you can translate it to R and you can translate it to understanding conjectures. So I like this uh, particular maxima for this because in maxima uh, programming is very easy as compared to mathematics. It depends. Uh, everybody has got. It. So the first thing which we are going to learn is maxima is written in Lisp language. We need not worry about it. If you have your own Lisp code, find it in run here. So we are not bothered if somebody says that key maxima is written in which language? It is written in Lisp. L -I -S. One, two, which is very important. Now I start. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I need my first calculation. So that those who are on, on, on that particular website, please move to that. You can enjoy their own. That this all, everything it can do. Let's begin. Those who are using Maxima for the first time, believe me, you can use it. There is no, uh, I mean, I'm not going to leave anything, assuming that you know mathematics. I'll be doing each and uh, maxima. I will be using it as if I'm also novice. So when I write, <clears throat> let's see, 2 raised to the power 6. And how to get the result? Press control and enter. <coughs> you get the result. If you wish to multiply any two numbers, say I wish to multiply 12 into 6. Eight. Simple. You just press this. What I'm pressing is control N. That's all. Now, is it important to write colon here, semicolon here? Now it is not important. These days, the new uh, this uh, software says that even if you press control enter, it will put colon on its own, semicolon. But those who are working on SESGA, they must write. So let me show you in Cesco also the same thing so that you you also start working there. So this is Cesca. Now I write 12, say raise to the power 6, and then put semicolon. If you don't put semicolon, what will happen? See, it has done nothing. So you have to put semicolon here. Then press. So whatever you feel like, whatever you are doing, you do it here. I will be doing it there. And if you face any difficulty, please let me know. We'll share the screen and resolve your problem. So simple uh, calculations can be done using uh, using your arithmetic uh, operators. What are the arithmetic operators? Uh, let me write arithmetic operators are. Arithmetic operators, simple, whatever you have, you know, plus, then you have minus, then you have multiplication. Multiplication is uh, adjoining, uh, you know, uh, it is on eight, numeric pad eight, you can find multiplication sign. Then you have division is what is left. That's all. Anything else? Plus, minus, add, subtraction, multiplication, and division. All right. So we, we, we can develop more, and we will see more later on. But here you can do uh, your first calculation. And there is another operator, which I must define it here, which is called an assignment operator. Assignment operator. 
Hold on. All right. It is defined as I'll remove this. So for example, if I have A is equal to three, I wish to write A is equal to three, I will I'll write like this, A is equal to three. Now you see the value of A, I can check it, it is three. So this is how it works. A is equal to three. When I say press A, I get this. Here it echoes also. And here you can find there are two things, percentage I8 and percentage O8. These are called as labels. All right. These labels, let me first save this file so that at the end of this class, you will get this. So today is your 22. Okay. So I was telling you that this is percentage I8. Uh, one can one I can uh, I can restart this max also. Okay. That facility is all. Yeah. Restart in case you find that uh, there is some trouble. You can always. Right. So let's begin. Now you see what happened when I restarted. Instead of I eight, I got I one and O one. Actually, is this is a label. It is called as input label and this is called as output. This is the first input and this is the first output. And the, these labels are system generated labels. And believe me, this Maxima keeps a track record of all labels. You can always call them back. For example, uh, if I write here percentage, percentage means I'm calling the previous value and I say, please raise to the power three, do, do square of the above number. So what it will do is, you see, three, <coughs> take three from here and hit the square, you got nine. So you can always call also, if you wish that you, you, you need to call it in a different mode, say you want to call it as, percentage O2 and you wish to multiply it with percentage, say, say, say I multiply it by uh, eight, then what, what should I get? Eight, nine, the seven, eight, nine, the seven. So you can always refer. All right. This is interesting, simple. I just wanted to tell you that a, a complete uh, register is being maintained by Maxima to track record of inputs and output. You can refer back also, there is a command called as, uh, percent, uh, it is called as percentage DHI. I don't want to use it because it's, it will be a little difficult and it is of no use, but those who are from mathematics, they can write it, percentage DH. Uh, DH is also available, wherein we refer back to uh, say, uh, previous commands. So if I write percentage th2, it goes back to uh, second command from counting from. So I will not tell you more about it. It is fine. Uh, this much you know, uh, my purpose will be. Okay. So another command I'm going to teach you is kill all. This is very important. Uh, kill all is a command. Okay. Another thing which I, I must tell you here, uh, before I start with the kill all, uh, if I write A is equal to five here and put a dollar sign, instead of semicolon, I'm putting dollar. What will happen? Say I write it as X. X is equal to five and dollar sign. You see, it does not give output. Here, when I write, when I wrote A is equal to three, for me, colon is, is equal to there is a uh, slight, you know, uh, deviation from normal mathematics. Here, colon is, is equal. So it is an asp assignment operator. In your R, you will use three terms, left arrow, right arrow, and is equal to. Here, we have only one. So that is the simplicity of the sum. So A, colon, three. And when you press shift, enter, you get value three, which is echoed. Actually, we call it as echoing. Whatever you have written, it, it writes it again. Here also it has happened. Here also, here the output is coming. Here it has not equaled the value. 
so whenever you want to hide certain result because many a times intermediate results are so big you are not interested in those results so what you should do is put a dollar sign so let us see uh, one uh, simple calculation and i will tell you something little uh, scale up the things now so when i say kill all and i put semicolon what it what it will do it will say yes i am done with it it has it means that it has killed all those elements uh, which were which we have temporarily created so it kills all those so uh, uh, we are not much very much interested in uh, like what is being killed here you should just remember that it has killed uh, a and what other variables x these two are killed now and if you put here dollar sign and press enter it will not echo the output this i told you earlier also that's why i am showing it again let's see what is the value of x the value of x is x because we have already killed it kill means that it has removed the variable from its register register where it keeps the, all the list of the objects same is the case <coughs> which variable we have used a so what is the value of a it says that i don't have the value of a a remains so kill all means whenever you wish to clear all, all the memories you just press kill and it will kill all right now this we have defined a variable now i am scaling it, it up because mathematicians never stop themselves up tables they wish to define so i will write how to believe me in uh, in one hour you will be able to make programs i take only those things which are very important so fx here you use colon is equal to say i write x raised to p this is my function if i use semicolon it will be echoed if i use dollar it will not be echoed let us fx it is echoed if i put dollar sign not be so if i see what is the value of f3 so i will write the three here and find it is function is working fine you can do a lot of things here if you wish to differentiate i don't mind if you if you are looking for different differentiation differentiate fx x how many times you want to differentiate i have already shown you this command <clears throat> so just press it you get all right now those who are from little bit those who are interested in literature so they will call this as a and they say that can you make it as a noun yes we can make it as a noun also right like this see it has converted itself into noun that means instead of differentiating it just substitutes it right differential mean i don't want to substitute the value of fx also So this is called as quote operator. <coughs> quote operator. You can write the quote operator as well, and uh, you can use uh, uh, what is use like this. Uh, and I put a star here. This and here. Why it is like this? kind of okay so this is this this is your comment card you can always use comment card uh in uh, your r you will be using hash for commenting here we use slash star and star slash this is being i think in mathematics also you'll be using the same comment card 
All right. So this is how you convert uh, a, a particular command into its noun form. Noun means name form. So you got this. Uh, see, the beauty is why we are doing this. For example, I wish to, I wish to uh, say do something here and I wish to show you that what I am doing. So I will write differentiate fx x with respect to this two times and then I write is equal to and I write printl fx and here I write x. So what will happen is the output will be beautiful and you convert this fx also uh, as an as a noun, so you get this. So d square by dx square of fx is equal to c. What we are looking for. On the right, it is being executed. On the left, it is just putting the same. So symbolic is there. So this is how you define a function using colon and is equal to, and this is how you can use the operator. So right now, till po this point, I have uh, done a few operators. One is your colon, the other is your uh, dollar sign, then semicolon, then percentage, then colon is equal. Put operator is on the, I have also shown you the. All right. So we are moving with some declaration. If, if I will do, you will like. I'll make another uh, this. Uh, let me have a. So the function, you can declare whatever you wish to declare, you can declare. So for example, if you wish to declare x as integer, it will be declared as integer. Declare, it says that done, you don't want to see done, you remove it, it, it is already declared, x is now integer, you want to check its properties, you don't want it right now, but you may require it sometimes in programming. So <coughs> that was, that's why I'm doing. So in the database, the database information is the kind of variable x is integer. So that's why it, if you wish to uh, find out the properties of x, you just write properties x. It will tell you that in the database, the uh, variable kind is integer. So this is how it stores it. So if you want to remove it, you you can you have uh, you can always write it forget. So forget command works, and you say forget x. It says that true, and then let us see if it won't. No, not forget. Forget. Pata nahi kaise chalta. Forget bhi chalta hai. Pata nahi. You can assume properties using function u. Okay, zoom check on the Okay, I'll tell you another. Uh, forget go, Yahani use karte, ek hum palet me, uh, assume karna sikade, assume be here, what is sikade, pirat. Assume you may use. Okay. So, assume is, suppose I assume. A is greater than B. If I assume this, it says that, okay, I have assumed A is greater than B. Now I'm going to ask uh, Maxima, uh, please tell me what is, a, is A equal to B? Is, if I ask this, if A is less than B, suppose I ask this, what will be the answer? Let's, it's just false. You have assumed A is greater than B and you are saying is A less than B. This is wrong. So this is how you can always, you can ask for the facts. What are the facts told in this? Let us see. Fact says that x is integer, x is integer, and a is greater than. Uh, you can ask it to forget also. Forget, uh, say, forget a is greater than b. I, I'm saying forget it. So it says that, OK, I'm forgetting this a greater than b. Let's see what are the facts. So fact is x is on b. That's all right. If you kill all, it will be killed. Don't worry. So now we are coming to the main part. 
so that now you can start your uh, basic program. That's the new one I'm going to start. Okay. Control three. So input output state. I don't know how many of you have done this, but I'm hurriedly doing it and you will like it that uh, in a very short uh, class, you have revised everything and you have explained also. Input, output, uh, say we have. There are only two commands which are required. I'm not going to do uh, 10 or 20 commands. Sample two commands. First is called as read command. <coughs> See, you write A is equal to read and here you write give me And then press this, give me a number. It says you give five and it, five, it says, okay, five. But let's write a little bigger program. And I write here, print. Here I say, with the quotes, you have given me comma. And here I write, comma here i write now i will put dollar sign here i don't want to see any kind of echo because it is my program so it will run so it says that give me a number i write six and press shift enter let us run this program small program again you can run this program there also give me a number I say 67, 678, you have given. <coughs> so this is the small program which you can run. All right, simple program. So till now, I will take up. My fifth section is, I'm making it in the section form so that when you revise it, it will become easy. Relational operators. What are relational operators? So Maxima has following relational operators. So what are those? Less than, greater than, less than, equal to. Less than, equal to is combination of less than and equal. Greater than, equal. Equal to, this is your equality. Then finally, not equal to. In R, you will be using exclamation mark and equal to. Here we use hash. Hash seems to be more closer to not equal. So, <clears throat> for example, if I do a small programming, A23 dollar sign, B78 dollar sign, and I ask is A not equal to B. So answer, you know, it should give. Eh? Yes, you are true. <coughs> what happened? Why is not? Achha. It will not display answer. No. So it has given you the answer that yes, you are true. My next question here is, is a uh, greater than B. Let us see what, what what is the answer for this. It says that false. A is not greater. 23 is not greater. So you can always use relational object. You can, uh, you can check this also. It will say whatever object you use. 
नाउ आई कम टू नेक्स्ट अनिल बहुत फास्ट तो नहीं जा रहा मैं नो सर फाइन ओके तो रिलेशनल ऑपरेटर के बाद मैं आपको बताता हूँ लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर मुझे ये सब इसलिए चाहिए थे कि मैं अगर सीधा प्रोग्रामिंग पे टूट जाता तो लोगों को समझ में नहीं आता कि ये क्या होगा फिर धीरे धीरे जा रहा हूँ लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर देर आर थ्री लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर्स कौन कौन से होते हैं वट एवर यू हैव इन अदर लैंग्वेज सेम सेम आर हियर वट आर दट आर दोज ऑपरेटर्स anybody can tell me not and and or ye hote hain and logical constants kya hote hain logical constants hote hain true and false acha aapke r mein bhi true and false honge but wahan par t bada capital hoga aur f capital hoga and uh, and is not here operator ye logical constant ka isko usse mila do true and false these are two logical constants and uh, in r there is another benefit that for lazy people capital t is true and capital f is false here you have to define for example uh, suppose i am a very lazy person what i will do yeah, i write first i write true and false is what let us see <coughs> true and false is always false very good sir is correct true or false is true very good true is 1 plus 0 1 plus 0 is always 1 or is always addition and and is always multiplication true is 1 and false is 0 you can always do mathematics like this but i will tell you how to make uh, happy the lazy lazy persons you write t as true and here you define as a dollar sign and you can write uh, continuously also it doesn't matter and f as false so what i have done is for lazy people i have defined t and f it is defined now i say what is true what is not true not t it will say it is false for output is it is also one so whatever r uh, you are doing programming in r you can do it here also but you have to define the variable or right. you can do it logical operators are there now i come to basic thing here starts main thing control statements yahan se hum programming shuru karenge aur chote chote program banayenge isme aap logo ko maza aayega okay so let me introduce the first control statement block block statement beech beech mein main control s bhi daba leta hu jisse ki kuch ude na ude to wapas is point pe aa jaye ki kuch sab kuch na okay so how do you use the block statement what is the purpose of block statement? purpose is very simple you can encapsulate uh each statements by breaking down down into block <clears throat> i will take very simple example but better is if i take it in the last i come back to here that will be better so let us do i think ek tar ke dikha deta hu block suppose i take a block statement here yahan ek block ठीक है और हमने बोला यहां पर इफ एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन टेन देन अच्छा आपको इक्स इफ नहीं आती है ना अभी ये प्रॉब्लम है यार अभी इफ आती नहीं है गो भी नहीं आती है तो मुझे पहले वो करके आने दो इफ कराने दो फिर मैं वापस आने दो ठीक है ओके लेट एस डू एक मैं ये छोड़ के आ रहा हूं अभी आई डू इट लेटर है डोंट वरी Okay, so uh, let us write if statement. If statement. ये बड़ी इंटरेस्टिंग और बड़ी टीचर्स को भी बहुत पसंद आती है इसको इफ स्टेटमेंट या कुछ लोग इसको 
लॉजिकल इफ भी बोलते हैं कुछ भी बोल लो इफ स्टेटमेंट या लॉजिकल बोथ बोथ बिल सो हाउ हाउ वट इज दट इज यू नो सेंटेक्स ऑफ इट सेंटेक्स इज वेरी सिंपल इफ स्मॉल यू नीड टू हैव कंडीशन condition if it is satisfy then you need to write here expression if it is not satisfied then write else here again expression no need to check it again either it is true or it is false if it is false <coughs> if it is false then go to the expression right and if it is true then go to the expression so this is how it works all right very simple so if condition then expression there is another syntax uh, i'll uh, complete it here right now if condition now say you have more than one condition then if condition one then expression one else if in else if you need to check condition again so i will write condition 2 if it is true then do this expression go on like doing like this unless you are exhausted with all conditions and finally i put dot dot here you can write else and it will without condition now you need not have condition just write expression all right so that these are the two basic you know logical ends let us start working on <coughs> i'll write a simple program and you will enjoy it suppose i have a number x is equal to minus 5 i put a dollar sign so that it is not seen when it runs if x is greater than 0 If x is greater than zero, this is a condition. All right, then print print you know command output command. Then print x. If x is zero, then print x else print minus. Now anybody can tell me what is what this exactly program is, what it is doing. ये क्या कर रहा है भाई? जो run करके देख लो क्या कर रहा है? इसने रीड किया प्रोग्राम एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस फाइव आई पुट साइन किया सो दैट यू कैन सी इसका मैं छुपा दू एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस फाइव इसने रीड किया आउटपुट इसका फाइव सो व्हाट इट इज डूइंग व्हाट इज दिस फंक्शन कॉल्ड एनीबॉडी कैन टेल मी एब्सोल्यूट फंक्शन सुना है अनिल इनके माइक ऑन नहीं हो सकते सर वी विल ऑन दैट इन लास्ट अच्छा लास्ट में करेंगे यस सर एट द टाइम ऑफ क्वेश्चन आंसर सेशन अच्छा एक बार बीच में थोड़ा सा खोल देते हैं ओके सर ओके फाइन थोड़ा सा खोल दो इनको डिस्टर्ब नहीं करेंगे पढ़ने वाले हैं सब सब पढ़ ही रहे हैं ओके सर फाइन सर फाइन मेरे भी थ्रोट पे कम प्रेशर आएगा थोड़ा जी सर अनंत जी so actually this function is called as absolute function news in chat humne ek jagah black aaya tha inko to 1500 ki mili thi absolute value okay so and sir ko unmute kijiye tuteja sir ko mute kar diya aapne unmute kijiye unhe ha ho gaya ho gaya maine kar liya ओके लीव इट एज सच इफ इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल अब आप देखो इसमें मैंने क्या किया है x इज इक्वल टू माइनस फाइव इफ x इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो स्मॉल प्रोग्राम तो वट आई विल डू आई विल वर्क ऑन दिस बुक प्रोग्राम एंड आई ट्राई टू इम्प्रूव इट हाउ आई विल इम्प्रूव इट सी कंट्रोल सी i'm pasting it again here i just want to improve so i will improve 
I will write this as instead of x is equal to one, I'll write absolute value ABS x. How do you define function? You use colon and is equal to. And you write it like this. If x is zero, x is greater than zero, then print x, else print minus x. I run this program. This program is running. Absolute value of minus eight is, if you see, it gives the value. There is a built-in program also for this. Minus eight, you get minus eight. All right. So you 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 are uh, you have just simulated this absolute function, which is a built-in function, and you have created your own function here. This can be created, and you can you can uh, you know put them in the block also. Block means it will be. Uh, I mean you can you can uh, have in a block like this. If you put in a block, if you don't put it, it doesn't matter. This is a small program. But if you have a big program, you can put it in the block. You see it is. The block does not, block creates partitioning of the program. If you, if you think that program is too long, make a block otherwise. <coughs> All right. Now, I'm going to give you another form of this absolute form, another form. You see, every time we will learn out of this. I'll make block here so that you are in the habit of writing it. And instead of printing, I will use a function called as return. Now, absolute value of minus four. You see exactly the way uh, your built-in program works. Exactly the same, you see, answer is, output is in a similar way. When I was printing, then you were getting two, uh, you know, if you see here, I run this absolute value of minus three, then the answer was three equaled with the three because it has printed three. That's the problem with it. But when I use return, what does return means? Return means that the program is over. The value which you are carrying here should be carried here now. It should be sent back. So it comes. This is another. Another way of writing this program is I can give you, I can write program in many different ways so that your concepts are clear. You see. If x is greater than zero, then replace x by x and otherwise else replace x by minus x. Okay, it does replacement and then what next it has to do? Put a comma and return x. So this is over. Ye bracket this guy, ye bracket extra, I think. Yeah. So now you see what is a b. ABS or ABS. So there are ways of writing it. Uh, this, this is just printing it. This is returning value to this function. And here also it is returning, but it does not return twice. It collects the value in X and send it back. And send it back. You can put it in A. And you can return the A, A will come back to O. That's the other way of So this is how you can plot it. I, I'm not going into plotting. If you, if you, later on, if you see, uh, if you say that, please make a plot also, I'll make a plot. Also. We need few more commands. How many of you know signum function? Any, any idea of signum function? Signum function says that I will I'll explain you. Don't worry. Signum function says that signum. Signum function is say I have x. I have x. Now if we have say any number x is greater than zero, then return say one. Else if, I, I'll not use 
I'll say, I'll say just comma. In the command, you can write, if x is less than 0, then minus 1, return. All right. Else, So if it is a positive, then return one. If it is negative, then return minus one. Otherwise, it is that it is zero. So you have to return. So this is how we, uh, I mean, this this uh, needs to be written. So let us write signum of x. Now, if you can help me out, first is your block statement. I'll block it. Now I start writing my if, if n is say x, so if you make it n here, then you can write n. It doesn't matter whatever variable you use, it doesn't matter. But keep that uh, in mind that you are using the right variable. So if I'm using x, I'll write if x is greater than 0, then one says that. Then what it has to do? Return. What it has to return? It has done one. Com not comma. Then what is the command? Else if. Else if you have to write again the condition. What is the condition? X is less than zero. Then return minus one. And finally, else else does not require any condition. Return. Return. I'll put a dollar sign to save all this so that it does not equal. So you get this. So what is sigma of? Say minus nine. It should. And if you put it sign of nine, one, zero, yes. So you get it. the other way of writing. Yes, I'll just modify. Uh, uh, see, I will not return every time. Three times I have to return. Instead of that, I will. What I will do is, I'll put a is equal to one. Else, here also I will write a is equal to minus. Else, return nay. Else, a is equal to zero, comma, return a. Any error? If you can see any error, I don't see any. Yeah, it is for. So, <clears throat> block statement, signum function you have written. Very good. So, this is working. If you wish to plot it, I can tell you the command for plot. Uh, please bear with me. You may not be able to do for the first time, but since you will get all these notes, you can always practice. See, I have written so, so many commands. If you see, you can uh, have this input 64, input 68, input 70. So all commands are being, uh, you can always observe. All right. Here you will not find output because I have put a dollar sign. No output is dollar. Okay. <clears throat> There's a command called as make list. A make list is very interesting command. Uh, your teacher in the R will also uh, uh, will say that ki, please do this make list kind of command. They have run a, and they are different command. We'll ask you to is use. So what is this make list? Say the command is say I want to make a list of x x square so that it becomes easier. Uh, x square comma x varying from 1 to 10. I'm taking a simple example. So what it does it, it makes a list of x square, x varying from 1 to 10. x square means 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square, 5 square, 6 square. This goes on, right? Something like that is doing the square. Okay. Why it is useful if you wish to plot it, sigma, 
trigonum means you have to create the discrete points. If you wish to plot your uh, absolute function, there also you need to make uh, discrete points. So for discrete points, what I'm doing is I'm going to use, suppose I wish to see what is the signum value. So <clears throat> signum of x, x varying from minus 10 to 10. Let us see the values, signum of x. So for negative values, you have minus 1. Here it is 0. And for positive 10 values, you have for 1, it is 1. For 2, it is 1. For 3, it is 1. It goes on 10. For minus 1, it is 1. For minus 2, it goes on 3. So I can convert them into points also. See how you, uh, you will convert it to points. I have done x. You see, you got points. You have created a list. Interesting view. So if you want, you can put them in, say, L. I put this everything in L. Now it is stored in L. Now I make a plot in uh, Maxima. Blue explode 2 d is the command. And interestingly, you can use discrete. There are various uh, ways of plotting it. I, I take discrete and <coughs> I just pass L in this. That's all. Sufficient, I suppose. You see, you got this. Where is it? Is ne zero se one takia, which means that I have to uh it's go, I have to give I have to tell him that variable yaha ta limit near x varying from uh, minus ten to ten thana mara minus ten. Make paste kia humne. Points will get any yes, ne? Discrete. List ho gaya. Then list ke baad. Uh, chala X varying from minus 10 to 10. Kyo nahi chala uh, Maybe, maybe kuch hoga, kuch problem hai isme. Ya to main koi command kya uh, Discrete, comma, L, uh, comma, I think यहाँ पर कुछ और command है इसके, है ना? कुछ और command है मुझे याद नहीं है। uh, Anybody who knows this, please check this. I think I am passing this variable. There is some mistake in this variable. ठीक है। Discrete. Anybody can check it, please. Where, where I'm making mistake. This key or a tiny on each other. Do you come in the area to tell them? It any ra so X ray. There is some command I don't remember. 
uh, I forgot. I'll check it and I'll let you know. Don't worry. So we can plot it as well. Don't worry. I'll give you at the end. Thoda sa bhi dimag mein aa jayega. Okay. So let us move to next. It is fine. This will work. I will make list se plot karke dikha do. Okay. So let us write a program. Uh, and then I will move to conjuncture. Uh, conjuncture. Uh, let us write a program. To check a given number is prime or not. Very simple. And I allow you to use a built in function. Now, what is this built in function? This built in function is called as prime p. So, what is this? Suppose I pass it prime p 9, it means that it is false. It is not prime. Prime p 10, false. 5. True. So let us write uh, a program to check if a given number is prime or not. So I will, I'm going to write a small program for this. I'll write kill all here so that all variables which are defined are killed. And then I make, uh, okay, x read given number to be checked. number to be checked. I put this and then here you say now I'm going to write the logic. If if prime p prime p if prime p x I'll not use anything else is true likhne ki zarurat nahi hai is equal to true likhne ki zarurat nahi hai if i say if prime p x which means that i am checking whether it is true or not if it is true then you say return ya bhi print le lo pehli baar mein print karna se print yahan par hum print kar dete hain kya print karna chahte hain aap likhiye uh, uh, h prime Right, my example chili. Or else you write print it's not very simple. Okay. Take away going mistake to near. Maybe are you cool and then? So I'll put them in the block. Block and then X read and here. Now I need not have this. Put put replace it by this. And then since you have started the block, it should have here. Refusing to send cell to maxima undeterminated string. If prime P. Mm. Ko bhi do. X read give Achha, ye dekh lo, yahan se Isle <coughs> ha, ye aagaya, fir se chala. Okay. Right. So we get here. Give a number to be checked. Say I take five. What it says? Termination ho gaya. Achha, sare termination kyo ho gaya par? ये हटाओ जरा भाई ज्यादा टर्मिनेशन क्यों आ गए इफ के बाद ये कह रहा है कि कुछ गड़बड़ है अभी भी आप लॉक यहां पे कॉमा का ऑल राइट गिव अ नंबर सो यू राइट नंबर 7 एंड प्रेस एंटर इट सेज दैट इफ प्राइम पी एक्स देन प्रिंट एल्स प्रिंट इट्स नॉट प्राइम व्हाट इज द फॉल्ट इन दिस प्रीमैच्योर टर्मिनेशन ऑफ this premature kaha ho gaya? If prime px, then print. <coughs> uh, 
right is saying premature <coughs> me, let me write in a different way pr x karke likh lete program kya hai abhi pata chal raha hai okay uh, oh so pr say 7 PR nine, it's not. So I made it as a function instead of you know complicating the things. I am just printing it. If you wish to write what is prime, what is not prime, so you just write x here, x, and here you write is prime, and here you write x is composite. लिख रहा composite भी लिख सकता हूँ. X is not prime की बजाय मैं यहाँ लिख देता हूँ composite. So let us run it. It is working. So I put it here. So nine is. You can put a dollar sign to save it from echoing. So you get this PR nine. So nine is. It is saying. Now, if you wish to have some return value, you can do that. So it it's working. So this is how you can write prime uh, number uh, program. And even you can, what you can do is you can uh, return the value. That's another important. Thing. Yeah, there are some hands. पहले इन hands को देख लो भाई. एक मिनट उठा लो, देख लो. Richa, Priyanka, please uh, open their this mic. Anand ji, uh, uh, जिन participants के, के uh, raise hand हुए हैं, please उनको uh, unmute का option दे दीजिए. so that to unmute karke questions raise kar sake ha de diya richa ko de diya yes richa ji you can ask your question to uh, to to richa sir aap unmute kar sakte hain Priyanka ji, if you have any question, you have raised your hand. So kindly ask your question. You can unmute yourself. Hello, sir. Yeah. Sir, जो आपने label बताया था input label output label ये इसका क्या था मुझे मतलब मेरा नहीं हो पा रहा इससे program run नहीं हो पा रहा कोई भी program नहीं बन पा रहा यस yes, सर मतलब enter करने के बाद जो output आ रहा है वो नहीं आ पा रहा क्योंकि मेरा जो ये आउटपुट लेवल वही नहीं बन पा रहा है इनपुट लेवल पीछे डॉलर साइन लगा रहे हो या कॉलम लगा रहे हो सर मैंने तो कॉलम साइन लगाया था कॉलम से तो आउटपुट आनी चाहिए आप मुझे प्रोग्राम एक बार कैसे मैं देख सकता हूं आपका प्रोग्राम कैन आई सी योर प्रोग्राम सर मैंने एक्चुअली फोन से अपना फोन में बहुत नीचे आ रहा होगा नो no, सर मैंने साइन वो लैपटॉप से मैंने प्रोग्राम रन करी और मैंने फाइल मोबाइल से अपना सर मैंने इससे जो ऐप से वो किया आप, से अपने, से... आप एक काम करो ना लैपटॉप पे काम करो ना स्क्रीन पे आप हमें आप अपनी स्क्रीन दिखा दो अपने मोबाइल से आप अपने मोबाइल से हमें अपनी स्क्रीन दिखा दो ना दैट विल बी फाइन सर बट मैं नहीं कर सर एक्चुअली में प्रियंका हैव नो अथॉरिटी टू शेयर स्क्रीन ओनली को होस्ट कैन शेयर स्क्रीन सर लास्ट में देख लेंगे बेटा फिर प्रूफ दो सर मुझे बस ये नहीं समझ में आ पा रहा कि इसका कमांड बना कैसे मतलब लेबल कैसे कौन सी वाली की कौन सी वाली कमांड बताओ बता, बता? सर, किसी का भी लेबल नहीं समझ में आ रहा कि लेबल जैसे परसेंटेज है आई है ये आया कैसे आपको परसेंट सुनिए आपको परसेंटेज आई और परसेंटेज ओ से कोई मतलब नहीं है उससे आप आप उसको चलने दीजिए वो आपको कुछ नहीं कहेगा वो तो हमारे जब आप हायर लेवल पे आते हैं तब आप रेफरेंसिंग के लिए यूज करते हैं अभी आपको यूज नहीं करना है लेकिन आप जब When you complete this uh, maxima course and somebody ask you, yeah, what is the meaning of percentage I and percentage O? You will say, or I don't know. Nobody told me. जैसे हमारे यहाँ percentage I word हमेशा constant के लिए use किया जाता है. अब अगर आपने pi डालना है, तो percentage pi लिखेंगे. ये pi आ जाए. 
अब इसकी अगर मुझे वैल्यू चाहिए तो मैं फ्लोट लिखूंगा तो इसकी वैल्यू निकाल बट सर कोई भी प्रो, प्रोग्राम रन करने के लिए जब मैं इंटर करी तो आउटपुट एक भी नहीं आ रहा क्यों बेटा आपका या तो मैक्सिमम इंस्टॉल ही नहीं हुआ आप एक बार डाउनलोड करके दोबारा से इंस्टॉल क्योंकि ये ऑटोमेटिक आता आपने कुछ करना ही नहीं होता आपने आपका जो जो 32 बिट है 64 बिट है उसमें कहीं प्रॉब्लम कर दिया आपने इंस्टॉल ठीक से नहीं किया ओके सर हाँ वहां ट्रबल हो सकता है अब आप देखो परसेंटेज जो है वो कॉन्स्टेंट के लिए यूज होते हैं परसेंटेज ही ये देखिए वैल्यू आ गई है ना तो यू कैन यूज दिस फ्लोट इज ऑलवेज यूज टू गेट द फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट वैल्यूज इट सिंपल थिंग ऑल राइट और सोनाली या सोनाली सोनल ये देखो भाई सोनाली को हेलो या सर एम आई ऑडिबल या रिचा यू आर ऑडिबल सर आई एम सोनाली अच्छा ओके सोनाली प्लीज स्पीक सर बिकॉज इफ आई वांट टू डिफरेंशिएट एक्स स्क्वायर इनटू साइन एक्स इट इज शोइंग इनकरेक्ट सिंटैक्स यू व्हाट डू यू वांट टू डिफरेंशिएट एक्स स्क्वायर इनटू साइन एक्स फंक्शन x square into sin x. Yes. Yeah. First you kill all because I have got values here. Maybe the same trouble you must be facing. You got this value, and if this is total differential, make it as a, a one-time differential. So, so you get this. This is correct. Maybe you are not putting multiplication sign between x square and sin x. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. And yeah. sir, uh, you have written that. Let us write program to check a given number. There, you don't have the cell actually. So how do you uh, get that? What? Ah, uh, the label. You can say. Let us write a program to check a given number is prime or not. See, I am you. I am using a built-in function prime p. Okay. Prime p is a built-in function, so I am using it and writing just to show you if there is an else if command. Okay. I can write prime p as well, but as for the sake of convenience, I am doing this. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. All right. Thank you, yeah. sir. Yeah, welcome, most welcome. Richa, Richa, कभी एक बार बाइक कीजिए. Yeah, Richa. Oh, Richa ji, you can unmute yourself, and you, if you have any question, you can ask to sir directly. Either we will uh, uh, enable chat box after some time. You can write your question in that also. Yeah, whatever you feel like. So, hello. Yes, yes, we are getting you. Yeah, sir, sir. uh sir i joined actually little late so my problem is that i am not able to install this software download to ho gaya but install nahi kar pa rahi ipad mein mere paas ipad mein hoga nahi beta richa you better use uh, sesga wala link this link maxima.sesga.es okay what you can do is you go on google open your ipad write maxima as sesga c e s g a so whatever website you get you lock on you go there and you can start working here all right so for example you see i, I have written expand you press it <coughs> you get expands so whatever you work we are doing you can do it here For example, I wish to tell you the next command for. So I will write for a variable a varying from zero uh, through say five to print, and I write a. All right. So what it will do? It will print 
varying uh, from 0 to 5. Let us see whether it does it or not. We have not put a colon. Colon is very important. So you see for a is equal to 0 through 5, do print a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right. So you can use this page also in your iPad. Normally I use iPad, I use this page. But this page is not good for learners because learner have to keep all commands handy. So what they can do is they can practice a page and then copy it in some, somewhere else, which is very tedious job. That's why I say uh, you should work on Windows or Mac or whatever system. So let me come back now to my uh, next this, which is uh, do statement. <laughs> there are uh, actually uh, four variants of do statement, but I will be initially, I will do uh, only three and then fourth. Fourth, I can tell you, I will not go in details. All right. First is for variable name, whatever you have variable name, write it like this, initial value, and if you want some step, you can write the step also, whatever increment, step increment. So increment through, and then what is the limit? You write it here, and then do whatever body you write, it will do it again and again. I'll show you how it works. How it works, I'll show you first, and then I'll go to the next one. For the <laughs> same variable name is x varying from 1. Okay, 1, x varying from 1. I'll write straight away, I'll remove this step function. Okay, through 5, do print, and then I have print, and then I have a, x. So, I will go run karke. You see, x varying from 1 through 5 to print x. It starts print. Here, if I write step and step, I write 2. What will happen? So it starts from 1. Take a step 2. It becomes 3. Take a step 2. It becomes 3. So you can control the steps. Of. If, you, if you wish, you can have step 3. So you have only 2. So you can write step zero, this won't work. Better is, all right. Okay. So, Yevi problems up low face karoge kabi kabi. So what you have to do is control all del jo master program utana chalana parta. You just end this task and come out of it without wasting any time. Yeah, gay bar or vapas gay. So it is here. Let me see. Kitna tak is ne save kya hua? Uh, open recently at 220 FTP. All right, Sara is saved. So everything is here. Now, next is uh, this is first command where normally I use this command. This is a simple command for variable initial value step increment through limit do body. Both are sana. A core is a variant, in variants actually, but you will understand the first one is the best one. But uh, we have to do it. So here, instead of th through, you have to write while. And the third is unless. Now let us see what does it mean. Yaha par change or 
so you have seen the output of this let me make it you remove the step function i don't want step you have seen how it works so let us see the next one instead of true i write here uh, see why now while <coughs> x is less than 5 do from x while x is less than 5 so what it does let us see kya kiya jab tak x 5 se kam hai tab tak aap print karte raho while x is less than 5 1 2 3 4 jaise ye 5 5 pe isne x is equal to 5 isne liya isko kehta 5 is less than 5 no so it does not go for printing so this is how it and the next third is control c i'll paste it here i'll paste it here and instead of here unless i put word unless unless x is greater than 5 agar greater than 5 ho jaye to bahar aa jaye kya gadbad ki humne unless file ki jagah humne unless Let's see. Unless x is greater than 5, print. So mind it, here while may x less than 5 from me boda, so ye 5 less than 5 tak jake rukya. Yaha par x greater than 5 boda, so ye 5 se jase hi padega. Unless it becomes more than this, it will come out of it. So you have to take care of your language, whether it is 5 or it is unless, but these all loop will work. So first loop is better. It starts from a point, ends at a point. It says that it has a limited limit to this point, And the third is also gives the limitation. If you want to note it, this is a good command. I'll show you. For I'll not go through it. Uh, so this is a command. I'll show you. For I'll not go examples of this. F pin. Very interesting. Suppose kariye sign cos. All right. Uh, if function is from sign cos 10, do print. Now, instead of taking values, I am saying ki you pick up these as a function. Print f of uh, say 1. 1 abhi, abhi ye 1 is the same. I will show you. Complete it. Here again. So what it does it f in sine cos 10 to print f1 f1 matlab f1 value which means that which means that if you pick f first f is sine so it will find out the value of sine 1 and put it here you will find next it will pick up a value from here cos it will find and then tan. if you if you are really interested in the value put it 1.0 you get the value or what you can do is there is a catch in this you can put the float value if you want value you can put float here word i told you how to put float and why to put so you get the same whatever you feel so this is another fourth one that's all four types ke hain afi hai itna aap logon ke liye abhi hum log aage chalte hain kuch programming kar okay very simple program I will take. Uh, chalo, ya to ek program se pehle ek tota sa tum logo ko conjecter batate hain. Conjecter mein maza hai. Phir. Then you will enjoy. Hmm. Ek chota sa conjecter. Then I will. Okay. Let us see. Conjecter. I uh, will take the conjecter. Naam hai iska. Euler's layer, very simple Euler. Okay, Euler said, "Yahan pe main likhta hu, kyunki mathematician sir, if you don't write it, they 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 are angry that you are not writing." I will write. Euler noted that n square plus n plus 41 yields 
तो ने बहुत ये पुराना है ये मेरे ख्याल से 300 साल पुराना होगा ईल्स एन स्क्वायर प्लस एन प्लस फोर्टी वन ईल्स प्राइम नंबर्स तो उस वक्त ये कैलकुलेटर नहीं थे तो हाथ सही करते थे दे वेर यूज यूजिंग हैथ जीरो लेस देन इक्वल टू एन लेस देन फोर्टी एक वेदर this expression okay before we uh, start uh, uh, conjectures let me tell you what are conjectures and why do we study them ye yeah, important hai aur uh, your students will also be happy with the conjectures if you tell them uh, pro, pro, i mean teach programming through conjectures they will be very happy they will say ki ye sahi hai sir ye nayi cheez aap sikha rahe prime numbers or सो एक्चुअली कंजेक्टर्स क्या होते हैं पहले आपको ये समझना है कि कंजेक्टर्स इज ए मैथमेटिकल स्टेटमेंट दैट हैज नॉट बीन रिगरसली प्रूफ यू गॉट माई पॉइंट दैट हैज नॉट बीन रिगरसली प्रूफ विच इट मीन्स दैट आपने एक वो सुनी है ना फोर कलर प्रॉब्लम है उसमें क्या है कि वर्ल्ड के सारे कंट्रीज को अगर हम फोर कलर से कर दे पेंट then no two boundaries of the countries of the neighborhood countries can have the same color this result could not be proved but it exists as such and everyone and many of the mathematician have tried their level best and they found that the four colors are absolutely fine it works fir aapne ek format last year hum padhi hogi usko hum format conjecture bolte the purane text <laughs> क्या थी वो ए रेस टू दी पावर एन प्लस बी रेस टू दी पावर एन इज इक्वल टू सी रेस टू दी पावर एन फॉर एनी इंटीजर वैल्यू एन ग्रेटर देन नाउ दिस वाज कंजेक्टर अर्लियर बट व्हेन यू नो लेटर ऑन वी गॉट टू नो दैट इन ये 1637 की ये प्रॉब्लम है और 1995 में आके ये प्रॉब्लम सक्सेसफुली सॉल्व हुई तब तक ये कंजेक्टर बनी रही थ्री हंड्रेड तक as a conjecture conjecture means that there is that there is some statement which has not been rigorously proved but you can find that it is obvious it is obvious yes bilkul theek hai yaar ye result to hai lekin kisi ne proof nahi nikala agar aapko conjecture ko ya to prove karna padega ya usko falsify karna padega agar aap usko falsify kar dete hain then it does not remain as a conjecture it goes back ki bhaiya ye result jo hai ye limited not a uh, theory so eiler ne ye present kiya bada chota sa result hai aur bada primary sa result hai aap second year ke bachcho ko jab ye aap when you start programming with them you can always tell them ki ya ye nikal ke dikhao ki ye prime number hai ya nahi hai 0 se leke uh, 40 ke beech mein if n starts तो लेट अस मेक अ प्रोग्राम फॉर दिस एंड आई होप दैट यू विल लाइक इट अभी तक आपको इतना आ गया कि आप बहुत आराम से कर पाओ uh, मैंने आपको कंजेक्टर की एक डेफिनेशन दी है छोटी सी और मैंने ये भी बताया कि ए एन प्लस ए रेस टू दावर एन प्लस बी रेस टू दावर एन इज इक्वल टू सी रेस टू दावर एन ये वाला रिजल्ट आप जरूर देखिएगा एक बार घर जाके uh, कि ये कैसे सॉल्व हुआ और क्या क्या डेवलपमेंट थी इसमें तो इसकी टाइम जरूर चेक करिए तो लेट मी बिगिन नाउ के लॉल so say i call this uh, function as euler function okay and i make a block for ab dekhiye aapko n kya value deni hai n varying from 0 hai so uh, n is equal to 0 pe bhi mujhe check karna hai to n is equal to 0 pe value kya aayegi iski is function ki n is equal to zero is a forty one. Forty one is a prime number. So please take that thing. If I start from one, it doesn't matter. Step, what do I have to take? One. So if you want to write it, it is fine. If you don't want to write it, move it. So n varying from one. Next is through. Where do I have to go? I have to go till which point? Suppose, 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 suppose,
ठीक है थ्रू एक्स तक जाऊंगा तो वट आई विल डू टू ये तो हमारी स्टैंडर्ड हो गया आई विल आस्क इट टू कंप्यूट से टी टी हमारा एक्सप्रेशन है एन स्क्वेर प्लस एन प्लस फोर्टी वन ठीक है ये मैंने टी में डाल लिया इफ यू डोंट वांट टू टी आई विल रिमूव इट टी आल्सो टी इसलिए अपनी सुविधा के लिए डाला हुआ है कोई तो मुझे हेल्प मिल रही है इसलिए आई एम पुटिंग इट अदरवाइज आई कैन ऑलवेज रिमूव इट सो आई कंप्यूट इट इधर एन कर लो भाई क्योंकि हम अंदर सारा एन से नहीं एक्स ही है ना हमारा थ्रू एक्स तक हम दे ठीक है सो इफ नाउ आई राइट अ प्रोग्राम प्राइम पी टी अगर ये प्राइम है तो क्या करो भाई एन देन प्रिंट क्या करना है प्रिंट आपको क्या प्रिंट करना चाहते हो हम प्रिंट करना चाहते हैं बस इतनी बात में लिखूंगा कि यार ये प्राइम है भाई इससे ज्यादा भी कुछ नहीं लिखूंगा मैं ओके इसके बाद हम लोग इस प्रोग्राम के साथ छेड़छाड़ करेंगे अभी सिंपल सा प्रोग्राम लिख ले नहीं कोई गलती होगी तो फिर बहुत देर लगेगी तो आई एम राइटिंग ए सिंपल प्रोग्राम एल्स प्रिंट दिस इज क्या लिखना चाहते हैं आप इज नॉट प्राइम ठीक है ठीक है ये स्क्रीन आ जाए तो सो व्हाट आई हैव डन इज ब्लॉक फॉर एन इज इक्वल टू वन थ्रू एक्स टू कंप्यूट करो एन की वैल्यू वन डाला इफ प्राइम की है देन प्रिंट प्राइम एल्स प्रिंट नॉट प्राइम दिस ब्रैकेट क्लोजेस व्हाट दिस ब्रैकेट क्लोजेस योर इफ कमांड and <laughs> this bracket closes your do command एक अभी और हमें bracket close करना पड़ेगा block का ये block भी बंद so let us see if it is working कुछ missing then हम missing है देखो क्या बोल रहा है if prime p then के बाद कुछ missing है then print prime else if prime t is true if prime if acha ye ye kya hoga if prime t ye hoga na sir ye bracket humne lagana hai to pura lagana padega then print prime abhi dekho abhi ek bracket faltu ho gaya hoga okay so ailer let us say 3 वॉट इज आंसर ये बोल रहा है प्राइम 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 यानी कि अब मैं एक काम करता हूँ प्रिंट के टाइम में मुझे कुछ समझ दिख नहीं रहा ना इसमें आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इट इज डूइंग सो वट आई विल डू इज आई विल राइट यर एन और यहाँ पर टी दोनों वैल्यू लेता हूँ क्योंकि वैल्यू भी क्या आ रही है वो भी दिखता है मुझे और एन और टी दिखाई देना चाहूंगा एन कॉमा लेटेस्ट रन देखिए जब एन वन था तो इसका सम आया फोर्टी थ्री प्राइम है एन टू था तो आया फोर्टी सेवन प्राइम है एन थ्री था फिफ्टी थ्री आया ये मैंने आइलर थ्री निकाला अब मैं आइलर ऐसा करता हूँ एक बार फोर्टी तक चेक करता हूँ इसने आइलर फोर्टी बोल गया ना लेस देन फोर्टी सो लेट एस मूव टू फोर्टी लेट एस सी फोर्टी डाल के देखिए वन टू थ्री टू थ्री फोर सबके लिए प्राइम है प्राइम है प्राइम है ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन एवरी वेर आई एम गेटिंग प्राइम 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 फोर्टी वन प्राइम नहीं सो दैट्स बिग इशू ना फोर्टी वन पे ही इसकी ट्रबल है इसका मतलब आई लव बॉस राइट आई लव टू देर आई थिंक राइट now i will do a small modification this program ailer ko check karne ja rahe hain ki ailer was right he saying 40 tak to theek hai 41 ke baad ye problem aa rahi hai aa rahi hai 
क्या ये प्राइम आगे भी है लेटेस्टी सो वॉट आई विल डू आई विल पुट हियर एक्स कॉमा वाई एंड ब्लॉक विल बिगिन फ्रॉम एक्स एंड एंड एट वाई ओके स्टेप की जरूरत नहीं है वन का स्टेप ऑटोमेटिक है और ये आपका प्रोग्राम ब्लॉक आइलर इसका नाम भी बदल दो इसका नाम हम रख देते हैं आइलर ये पॉइंट्स के बीच में चल रहा है तो आइलर पॉइंट्स बोल देते हैं नहीं आइलर पॉइंट बोलने से गड़बड़ हो जाएगा आइलर वन बोल देते हैं सो दिस प्रोग्राम इज रनिंग आई हैव डन आई एक्सप्लेन यू अगेन आई पास टू आर्गूमेंट एक्स एंड वाई बिगिनिंग फ्रॉम एक्स एंड रीचिंग टू वाई so n will begin from x and it will go through y and we will do all computation let us see what i am saying is correct or not so i will uh, check this iler program from 31 to 43 bas mujhe itna hi check karna hai let us see 39 pe iska t aa raha hai t means your n square plus n plus 41 is 1601 which is prime 40 pe not prime 41 pe bhi not prime 42 पे वापस प्राइम फोर्टी थ्री पे भी प्राइम आ गया सो इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन एक्सटेंड इट टेल फिफ्टी से फोर फिफ्टी चला गया बहुत सारी कंप्यूटेशन आए आने दो कोई बात नहीं तब तक आप लोग प्रोग्राम बना लो फटाफट hmm. रुका नहीं रुका चलो यहां तक यहां तक अभी ये जब तक कंप्यूट कर रहा है हो गया तो यहां पर देखो ये देखो कितने इसने कंप्यूट कर दिया सो समेयर इट इज प्राइम समेयर इट इज नॉट प्राइम थर्टी नाइन टू फोर्टी फाइव मैंने निकालना था गलती से आई आई वॉन्टेड इट टिल फिफ्टी पर चलो अब हम इसको 50 तक की करके देख लेते हैं तो so 39 टू 50 इज सम ऑफ देम आर प्राइम सम ऑफ देम आर नॉट प्राइम कंटीन्यूअसली इट इज नॉट प्राइम सो दैट्स व्हाट वी कैन ऑलवेज से दैट आइलर के जो ये थ्योरम थी ये जनरेट करता है प्राइम नंबर इट इज रॉन्ग इट इज ट्रू ओनली अप टू 40 नॉट बियॉन्ड दैट दैट्स करेक्ट ऑलराइट तो यू कैन प्लॉट इट आल्सो ये आइलर नंबर बहुत लोगों ने प्लॉट किए हुए हैं आपको एक और छोटा सा कंटेंट कर कर आता हूं अभी हमारे पास टाइम है बस दस मिनट है ना मजा आ जाएगा बस दस मिनट दस मिनट में बात करा दूंगा बहुत अच्छा है एंड यू विल एंजॉय कल हार्ड करेंगे थोड़ा कल तुम लोगों की प्रैक्टिस भी हो जाएगी तो यू विल एंजॉय कोलाट्स हैव यू हर्ड ऑफ कोलाट्स Raise your hands. Let me see how many of you have heard collards. कितने लोगों ने collards सुना है? Collards conjecture. And you have to understand this. It is very interesting. In the class, people will enjoy. Your students will enjoy. And if they are here, they will also enjoy. Only three participants have raised hand. भाई बाकी के सुना ही नहीं या बताना नहीं चाहते? <laughs> चार हो गए. Okay, चलो. <coughs> कोई बात नहीं है कोलाट्स कंजेक्टर इज इन मैथमेटिक्स इट इज इट इज वे बैक इन 1937 लगभग 37 40 की बात 37 की बात है कोलाट्स ने ये प्रपोज किया था ये कंजेक्टर क्या है बड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग कंजेक्टर है आई वांट दैट यू शुड सी मी हियर एनी कोलाट्स कंजेक्टर है आप कोई भी एक एन नेचुरल नंबर सोच नेचुरल नंबर से इफ इट इज फाइव इफ इट इज ऑट देन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय थ्री एंड ऐड वन ओके टू अपटेन ए नंबर इफ इट इज इवन देन डिवाइडेड बाय सो यू हैव ए फंक्शन व्हाट इज दैट फंक्शन बोलो भाई इफ इट इज इवन देन व्हाट यू हैव टू डू डिवाइडेड बाई टू इफ इट इज ऑट then you multiply it by 3 and add up okay let us do this uh, small <coughs> try now i am beginning with 7 7 is a odd 
तो वुड विल बी द नेक्स्ट नंबर इन टाइट्रेशन सेवन इज ऑड सो सेवन थ्री जार ट्वेंटी वन प्लस वन ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी टू इज इवन सो आई डिवाइडेड बाय टू टू गेट नेक्स्ट नंबर इज ट्वेंटी टू के बाद सीधा हम फ्लैट लेवन पे आ गए लेवन इज अगेन ऑड सो थ्री टाइम्स प्लस वन दैट इज थर्टी थ्री प्लस वन थर्टी फोर थर्टी फोर इज इवन सो हाफ इट सेवनटीन सेवनटीन इज ऑड सो यू गेट फिफ्टी टू फिफ्टी टू इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी सिक्स का आधा किया फिर थर्टीन थर्टीन इज ऑड सो यू गेट फोर्टी थर्टीन थ्री जो थर्टी नाइन प्लस वन फोर्टी फोर्टी का हाफ इज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी का हाफ इज टेन टेन का हाफ इज फाइव फाइव इज ऑड सो आई गो बैक टू फाइव थ्री जो फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन का हाफ इज एट फोर टू वन सो गुलाट सेट दैट गिवेन ए नंबर कोई भी आप एक नंबर ले इन फाइनाइट नंबर ऑफ स्टेप्स यू विल कम बैक इसके पीछे तो पूरी होल्ड लग गई सब लोग लग गए कि कोई भी नंबर ले ले कोई कोई बताने लगा कि भाई इतने स्टेप में आते हैं कुछ अगर आप देखो इफ आई कैन शो इट टू यू यू विल एंजॉय दिस लेट मी शो यू क्या हो रहा था ये फुल आर्ट्स को लेके विकिपीडिया में आ रहा हूं कैन यू सी माई स्क्रीन आई थिंक इट इज विजिबल यस सर इट इज विजिबल हाँ ये देखिए कोलार्ड्स की ये इसने बनाई <coughs> ये इसने कंजेक्टर लिखा <coughs> ये इसने पूरा ड्रॉप करके इस बना के दिखाया आपको कि कैसे ये आता है वन पे कैसे नंबर आते हैं और ये प्लॉट भी करके दिखाया कि किस तरह से नंबर आपके वन पे ये जा रहे और ये देखिए ये सब कुछ इसने बनाया ये सब हम प्लॉट कर लेते हैं कोई बड़ी बात नहीं है इसमें ये सब प्लॉट सो बेसिकली ये वाला प्लॉट सबसे इंटरेस्टिंग है और इसको हमें प्लॉट करना भी चाहिए अगर हमें नेक्स्ट टाइम टाइम मिला नेक्स्ट टाइम तुम टाइम दोगे मुझे तो मैं प्लॉटिंग को भी करूंगा तो हम आते हैं ये जो स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम है इफ द नंबर इज इवन डिवाइडेड बाई टू इफ द नंबर इज ऑट ट्रिपल एट एंड आर गुड मैथमेटिशियन they can write in a very difficult way but i am a bad mathematician i'll write it in simple let us write this <coughs> i'm going to write yes so my function is fx function likh leta hu yaad bhi rehta hai ye function fx hamesha ke dimag mein block block banaya humne ab humne likha if अगर इवन है तो हमारे पास ना स्टैंडर्ड है इवन पी एक्स ओके कई लोग इसको ट्रू लिखते हैं मैं नहीं लिखता हूं आई डोंट नीड इट इट इज जस्ट ए रिटर्डेंट स्टेटमेंट इफ यू वांट आई कैन राइट राइट इट फॉर यू हियर बट स्लोली यू शुड हैव ए हैबिट ऑफ रिमूविंग इट देन रिटर्न एक्स बाई टू एल्स इसका मतलब वो ऑड ही है ऑर्ड है तो रिटर्न क्या करो थ्री इंटू एक्स प्लस वन हो गया जी फंक्शन लिख दिया मैंने बड़ा सिंपल फंक्शन कर जाए बस चल भी गया इसको हम डॉलर लगा लेते हैं जिससे कि थोड़ा ज्यादा कम आएगा अब हम देखते हैं एफ फोर क्या होगा एफ फोर टू होगा बिल्कुल ठीक है एफ नाइन क्या होगा ट्वेंटी एट होगा नाइन थ्री जो ट्वेंटी सेवन प्लस वन ऑड है ना थर्टीन इज ए ऑड नंबर थर्टीन थ्री जा थर्टी नाइन प्लस वन ठीक है <coughs> अब मैं लिखने जा रहा हूं गुलाट कंजेक्टर कैसे लिखेंगे ये इंटरेस्टिंग है मैं तो बड़ा सिंपल फॉर्म लिख रहा हूं आगे कॉम्प्लिकेट करेंगे आज के लिए इतना ही काफी है कि आज थोड़ा सा हम कॉम्प्लिकेट करके छोड़ दीजिए गुलाट एक्स ब्लॉक फॉर आई वेरिंग फ्रॉम कहा से चलाऊ वन कब तक जाना अनलेस अनलेस 
एक्स हमारा लेस एक्स हमारा वन अब इज इक्वल टू डाला मैंने माइंड दिस वाई एम पुटिंग इक्वल टू आई नीड अ रिलेशनल ऑपरेटर आई डोंट रिक्वायर असाइनमेंट ऑपरेटर हियर आई एम आस्किंग दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन सो क्वेश्चन इज ऑलवेज लाइक दिस इज एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन और लेस एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन वी से क्या करो मूव क्या करना है आपको भाई आपको x की x में एफ एक्स डालना एफ एक्स क्या है आपका जब थर्टीन आ जाएगा जैसे मैंने पहला नंबर दिया थर्टीन तो एफ थर्टीन क्या फोर्टी अब इसका एफ निकाल ट्वेंटी फिर ट्वेंटी का निकाल तो वॉट आई एम डूइंग दिस आई एम ऑलवेज रिप्लेसिंग एक्स बाई एफ एक्स राइट प्रिंट अभी मैं बब को जिसमें चेंज करूंगा डोंट वरी I एंड X दोनों ले लेता हूं और ये ब्रैकेट बंद किया और ये लगाया नहीं ये चलता कि नहीं चलता टेन किया हमने टेन का मतलब है पहला नंबर उसका टेन उसने इवन पढ़ा उसको आधा कर दिया फाइव फाइव को उसने सिक्सटीन किया 16 को 8 किया 4 किया 2 किया 1. एनी क्वेश्चन अप टिल दिस पॉइंट आई डोंट थिंक दिस इज समथिंग वेरी हार्ड बट आई विल राइट यर फॉर योर कन्वीनियंस सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड यार आपके स्क्रीन में ना बहुत सारी चीजें बहुत सारी थोड़ा बेटर होगी आउटपुट देखो ठीक है अगर आपने कुलाट्स मान लो मैं लेता हूं थर्टीन थर्टीन कर ले देखिए अल्टीमेटली इसने आना है वन पे नाइन आइट्रेशन में आना है और कोई देखो नाइनटीन देखते हैं ओ हो हो नाइनटीन में देखिए ट्वेंटी आइट नेशन लग गए इसकी फिफ्टी एट नाइनटीन इज ए ऑड फिफ्टी एट नाइनटीन थ्री जो फिफ्टी सेवन प्लस वन फिफ्टी एट फिफ्टी एट का हाफ ट्वेंटी नाइन ट्वेंटी नाइन का थ्री टाइम्स प्लस वन एटी एट फोर्टी फोर ट्वेंटी टू हाफ हाफ होता जा रहा है ये इलेवन इज ऑड थर्टी फोर सेवनटीन ऑड फिफ्टी टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स थर्टीन थर्टीन इज ऑड फोर्टी ट्वेंटी टेन एक बार ये ट्वेंटी टेन की सीरीज में आ गया तो तो ये सीधा लैंड तो प्लाट सेट इसको हम हॉट को भी बोलते हैं <laughs> और हॉट बो कंडक्टर भी आई एल सेव इट बिफोर आई लूज ओके so you have written the function collats you can play with it raat ko baith ke khelie 119 mein dikhe kitne mein aata hai ye 33 iteration aap mein se kuch log bolenge ya sir aisa hai aap ye number number mat dikhao aap khali hame iteration dikha sakte ho kitni ho rahi hai main aapko khali iteration bhi bata sakta hu इस प्रोग्राम को उठाइए और पेस्ट करिए ये सब हटा दीजिए प्रिंटिंग के टाइम में सिर्फ आई अब ये आई काउंट करें ना इससे काउंट मत कराओ आई इसके यहां ब्रैकेट लगाओ लास्ट में आई दे ये हमें आउटपुट देखे तो लास्ट वाली आउटपुट आई अरे यार इसका नाम कुलाट जी रख लेते आई रख लेते प्रिंट आई क्यों नहीं किया इसने आई है ये क्या आई वन प्रिंट क्यों नहीं किया इसने नंबर हमने जब इसके अंदर रखा था 
क्या किया था हमने एक बार फिर से ओके ब्लॉक एक्स एफ एक्स प्रिंट किया हमने डू अच्छा डू किया डू को हमने यहां बंद कर दिया अब ये बाहर चला गया इसका एक काम किया ऑपरेशन गिव्स व्हाई इट इज सेइंग प्रिंट आई आई क्यों नहीं ये दे रहा आई रिटर्न कर रहा है प्रॉब्लम है अच्छा लास्ट आइट्रेशन पे ये आ गया ना ओ ठीक है तो लास्ट आइट्रेशन पे आ गया तो एक काम करते हैं इसको कहीं मुझे सेव करना पड़ेगा असल में ये प्रॉब्लम आ रही है हम लोग को गॉट इट ये हमारी प्रॉब्लम बड़ी सिंपल सी है आ, कि हम लोग इसका जो आई है वो पॉपुलेट नहीं कर रहे कहीं इसको पॉपुलेट कर लेते हैं एक काम करते हैं और अनलेस एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन ये यहां रखते हैं जे इज इक्वल टू है और अब इसके पास है ये हमेशा रख के आ रहा होगा ये कहा से ला रहा है प्रिंट जे देख रहे कुछ लोग हैंड रेस कर रहे हैं मे बी दे आर फाउंड सम मिस्टेक so we can use percentage i i am getting the answer where to i to run kar raha hai yahan tak to ki kar raha hai वेर यू हैव यूज परसेंटेज आई क्या है फॉर आई इज इक्वल टू वन अनलेस एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन डू एफ एक्स तो ये अच्छा आई को हम इंक्रीमेंट कहीं नहीं दे रहे आई अपने आप इंक्रीमेंट ले रहा है ना यहाँ पर आई इंक्रीमेंट तो ले ही रहा है देखो आई इज टेकिंग इंक्रीमेंट आई में इंक्रीमेंट आ रहा है नो प्रॉब्लम अब कहाँ फंसा जाके ये हम ये कह रहे हैं कि लास्ट में एक बार फाइनली <coughs> अगर ये प्रिंट कर दे हमें लास्ट आई तो हमारा काम बनता है है ना सो व्हाट आई विल डू हियर इंस्टेड ऑफ प्रिंटिंग दिस ऑल इफ आई से प्रिंट ये हम हटाते हैं सारा अब क्या आया हमारा आई की वैल्यूज आ रही है आ रही है ये ठीक है नाइनटीन हमें लास्ट वाली वैल्यू इसकी प्रिंट करा रही है वॉट आई विल डू इज ये ब्रैकेट यहाँ आना चाहिए ये डू हो गया ये प्रिंट यहाँ करना चाहिए क्यों तो नहीं कर रहा ये एर दे रहा है क्या आई दे देता ये
बस गया जाके देर इज समथिंग इन दैट ओके सर आई हैव यूज्ड परसेंटेज आई परसेंटेज आई इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड एक्सैक्टली स्पीकिंग देर इज समथिंग एल्स परसेंटेज आई इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड परसेंटेज आई एक्चुअली वो कांस्टेंट तुमने बना लिया उसको कांस्टेंट को बनाने का तरीका ये है कि जे को या तो हम वैल्यू में रखें एंड वी शुड कीप जे एज चेंजिंग देन ओनली दिस कैन हैपन जे इज इक्वल टू जीरो जे इज इक्वल टू जीरो से हम स्टार्ट करें दिस इज द ओनली थिंग ये एक बेटर तरीका है हैंग हो गया भाई इसको रोक लो चलो देखते हैं नेक्स्ट क्लास में इसको क्या है एक बार ही एक बार ही मैं चेक कर दू लास्ट अटेम्प्ट चल पड़ा क्या एक्स को हमने एफ एक्स में डाला जे की वैल्यू हमने आई में डाली प्रिंट लास्ट में हमने जे ले लिया आना चाहिए ये क्यों नहीं आया घूम गया ये तो ब्रैकेट कब है क्या ये तो ठीक है डू there is some fault you can't see it all right we'll see it next time now what is my target is uh, i wish to print only the last number this 33 that's all i need to print this last number 33 i don't want all this to be printed and once i get this then what i will do i will pick all the numbers i will pick all the numbers uh, say uh, 1 to 500 and they are fine for lads iterations that's what i have to do so ye mujhe next class mein main tumhe karke dikhaunga uh, this is collards then we have uh, some few other theorems which are very interesting uh, i can tell you some some of them if you find time then please uh, do those uh, conjectures just go through them you will like them one of them is gold bash i don't know have you heard gold bash khol do yaar inka inse baat kar lete ha anand ji uh, unmute kar dijiye ha gold bash is a positive integer see gold bash number is a positive even integer that can be expressed as the sum of two odd primes to so, ye bada ek interesting hai ki aapke paas uh, कोई भी अगर एक जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल कोई भी एक नंबर है पॉजिटिव इवन इंटीजर आप सोच लीजिए से फोर फोर सोच लिया हमने तो इट कैन बी एक्सप्रेस एज सम ऑफ टू ऑड प्राइम्स सो यू यू विल फाइंड फोर से बड़ा ले लो सेवन ले लो ऑड प्राइम ले हमें लेना है क्या uh, हमें लेना है पॉजिटिव इवन इंटीजर सो आई टेक एट एट कैन बी एक्सप्रेस एज टू सिक्स फोर फोर सिक्स टू इज नथिंग बट डिफरेंट फॉर्म ऑफ इट ऐसे ही आप टेन कर लीजिए बहुत सारे आपके पड़ेंगे तो गोल्ड बाश इज एनदर ट्विन प्राइम कंजेंटर भाई ये जो ट्रेवल कर रहे हैं ये तो अपना माइक बंद कर रखे ना सड़क की आवाज भी आ रही है हाँ यस ओके नील नीलाद्री घोष यू वॉन्टेड टू आस्क सम क्वेश्चन I download the Maxima app, but I cannot install this file. For me or uh, uh, system? I can present my screen. Okay. Yeah. Rukiya, I stop my screen first. All right. Now show me. I'm sharing my screen. Ah, sure, sure. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it fast. Anand, please allow him to share uh, his screen. Allow कर दिया सर. By the time कोई किसी का theoretical question है वो ले लेते हैं. 
Yeah, he just started. Ah, uh, thank you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is my Maxima app. Uh, I just actually this. Ah, uh, मैंने ये बार बार किया है. Ah, यहाँ पर बोल रहे हैं कि. करो करो yes कर दो आप. Okay. तो आएगा. हम्म अभी आप वहां जाओ अपना दिखाओ ये फिर से क्यों करने लग गया पता नहीं यही आ रहा है फिर मैं नेक्स्ट कर रहा हूँ आई एग्री कर रहा हूँ ये रुके रुके एक मिनट इसको कैंसिल करो आप कैंसिल करो ओके यस आप सी में जाओ अपने मेरा सी ड्राइव हाँ ओके सी ड्राइव सी ड्राइव में अंदर जाओ मैक्सिमा फोल्डर खोलो मैक्सिम यही रहा यही रहा अनइंस्टॉल अब अभी ये अनइंस्टॉल हुआ ही नहीं ठीक से अनइंस्टॉल करिए एक बार कहीं कोई फाइल तो नहीं रखी है इसकी क्लोज करिए क्लोज कर दूंगा इधर वापस आइए जरा प्रोग्राम फाइल्स के अंदर दिखे यहाँ तो नहीं कोई फोल्डर है आ, मेरा यहाँ पर डाउनलोड है नहीं नहीं इसको छोड़ दीजिए विन सिक्सटी फोर है आपका दिस पीसी को राइट क्लिक करके क्या दिखाइए हाँ, नहीं इधर नहीं सिक्सटी फोर है सिक्सटी फोर है ठीक है इसको क्लोज करिए हाँ ठीक है आप इंस्टॉल करिए यहाँ पर नीडेड है सिक्स थर्टी वन एम बी और मेरा पेज भी है लेकिन अब नेक्स्ट करूंगा मैं ओके फिर इंस्टॉल करूंगा ओके तो ये जो इंस्टॉल हो रहा है ना वो यहाँ पर आके रुक जाता है फिर फास्ट पेज कब में क्या पता नहीं ये यहाँ पर देखिए आप कुछ देर के बाद यहाँ पर आके रुक जाएगा फिर फास्ट जो पेज ट्रबल है एक काम करिए ना फोल्डर चेंज कर दीजिए उसका मैंने डी ड्राइव ऐसा आ गया मैंने डी ड्राइव पे भी किया है सेम ही हाँ। है सेम ही प्रॉब्लम आ रहा है डी ड्राइव नहीं वो सब जगह से अनइंस्टॉल करके सिस्टम रीस्टार्ट करके फिर फिनिश करिए देखिए क्या हुआ उधर जाके फोल्डर के अंदर देख के आते क्या है अब फिनिश हो गया फिर मैंने हुआ नहीं इंस्टॉल प्रॉपर्ली हां हां प्रॉपर्ली इंस्टॉल नहीं हो रहा एक्चुअली यही दिक्कत है नहीं कोई बात नहीं एक बार अंदर जाते हो तो देखते हैं सी खोलिए सी सी में हां मैंने ही बोल दिया था हां हां Uh, इसके अंदर होगा बिन में देखना बिन में बिन में इधर एक एग्जीक्यूटिबल फाइल होगी डब्ल्यू एक्स मैक्सिम ये रन करिए या हाँ क्या बोल रहा है कैन नॉट क्रिएट हाँ आपका वही प्रॉब्लम है वो स्पेस प्रॉब्लम है इसको क्लियर करके डी में कहीं लो या इधर से कोई हटा दो ना एक अभी टेम्परेली इसी को हटा दो आप टेक्स्ट को हटा दो यार लेटेड बहुत स्पेस लेता है आ, कौन सा टेक्स्ट सर टेक 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 वाला टेक वर्क ओके मेरा और भी ड्राइव है आ गया आ गया स्टार्ट हो गया वहां पर क्लिक किया इसलिए हो गया आ, हो गया ये एक्चुअली एक और भी बात है आपने कोई वो लगा रखा है क्या फायर पॉल फायर पॉल नहीं नहीं सर ये तो आ गया फायर है कहीं आपके ये इसको एक्सपैंड करिए यही यही ये बस इधर लिखिए ट्वेंटी थ्री रेस टू दी पार फाइव लिख लो फोर्टी थ्री कुछ भी लिख दो यार एनी अच्छा अच्छा अरे नहीं यार एक्स मत लिखो ना एक्स कहा है आपके पास ओके ओके समझ 
हाँ छोटा सा सवाल दिया यार उसको बड़ा सा दो ना सत्य तेल के मना करते ना पता है है वो ना मेरे को पढ़ तो ना लेकिन हर वर्ड में आप बता दो दिस इज संदीप चैटर्ड है संदीप को अनम्यूट करिए नो सर आई डोंट हैव क्वेश्चन अच्छा ओके ये आपका ये है प्रॉब्लम देखिए डिफेंडर आपको रोक रहा है फायर बॉल मैंने बोला था ना आपका हाँ सर इसको इसको अलाउ एक्सेस करिए इधर ये इधर से हाँ अभी ठीक है आप नहीं करेगा आप बाहर से भी आप ओके ओके ऑलराइट ओके सर थैंक यू सर या वेलकम ओके नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम किसका सर हम ये जो प्रोग्राम ये जो हम यूज कर रहे हैं सर इसका मतलब सर एप्लीकेशन क्या होगा हम कहाँ यूज कर सकते हैं जैसे ये जो सीख रहे हैं देखिए ये हम लोग मैथमेटिक्स वाले आप कोई भी प्रॉब्लम है चाहे वो डिफरेंशियल है इंटीग्रल है डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन है पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन है हम लोग सारे जितने भी रिसर्च करते हैं उसमें हम प्रॉब्लम को सॉल्व करने की कोशिश करते हैं तो जो प्रॉब्लम हाथ से हो जाती है जो तो एनालिटिकली सॉल्व हो जाती है ठीक है नहीं तो उसको हम नुमेरिकली सॉल्व करते हैं नुमेरिकली नहीं हो पाती है तो हम प्लॉट देखते हैं उसको विजुअलाइज करने की कोशिश करते हैं सो इवन इफ टू अंडरस्टैंड mathematics what is the mathematics in any uh, concept we use this computer is tarah se hum statistics mein data analysis karte hain aise hi hum yahan par mathematics mathematical modeling karke problem ki jo differential equation hai ya integral hai ya partial differential equation sab kuch solve kar okay tab maan lijiye aapki koi taylor theorem hi bana ke dekh liya hai taylor's uh, uh, series banani hai to yahan se bana lete hain ठीक है ना हाँ भाई इंजीनियरिंग वाले भी तो बहुत काम करते हैं आप लोग कितने टाइप के तो क्या ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन यूज करते हो सब यहाँ पर एक मिनट में एक सेकंड में बन जाएगी यस थैंक यू हेलो क्या जी सर मुझे ये पूछना था कि जैसे मैं मैथमेटिक का यूज में लेता हूँ मैं रिसर्च स्कॉलर हूँ तो ये मैक्सिमा और मैथमेटिका में क्या डिफरेंस होता है मतलब देखिए मैथमेटिका जो है वो एक पेड सॉफ्टवेयर है प्रोप्राइटरी सॉफ्टवेयर है एवरी कॉलेज कैन नॉट अफोर्ड इट ओके इन आर कॉलेज इन जाकिर हुसैन वी वी वांटेड टू बाय 50 लाइसेंसेस सो कंपनीज डिमांडिंग कितना 20 लाख रुपए 22 लाख रुपए मांगा 22 lakhs very difficult to afford for a college hai na us par bhi jo license hamare paas hai unse hamara kaam nahi chal raha upgrade nahi honge wo upgrade karane hain to aise mein dekhiye students ke liye hum log main manta hu ki ye bahut zyada strong nahi hai but when it comes to programming it is very strong so you can use it in the class you can use it for your purposes you can use it uh, for research also <clears throat> many many times you know you know when you come for uh, ad hoc teaching or guest teaching they may ask you to use software because in most of the papers practical part component is there hai na तो कुछ कॉलेज बोलते हैं कि मैट लैब यूज कर लो कुछ कॉलेज बोलते हैं मैथमेटिका यूज कर लो कुछ कॉलेज बोलते हैं नहीं है भाई हमारे पास दोनों ही नहीं है आप मैक्सिमम यूज करो एंड मैं ये पूछना चाहता था कि जैसे अगर हम मैथमेटिका uh, यूज कर रहे हैं तो क्या मैक्सिमा के ऑलमोस्ट या फिर सारे टास्क मैथमेटिका में हम यूज कर सकते हैं मतलब नहीं सारे नहीं आते हैं और देखिए उसमें कमांड्स थोड़ी-थोड़ी डिफरेंट होती है आप चीट शीट सब अपनी बना सकते हैं 
हमने बच्चों को मान लो फर्स्ट ईयर में फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर में मान लो हमने पचास कमांड सिखा दी है तो आप चीट शीट बना लो मैथमेटिका में क्या है उसका इक्वल मैक्सिमा में क्या है ऐसे चीट बना लेते हम लोग भी ऐसे ही करते हैं जब डेली मैक्सिमा पढ़ने लगते हैं तो मैक्सिमा में घुस जाते हैं जब मैथमेटिका शुरू करते हैं तो मैथमेटिका में चले जाते हैं तो एक शीट तैयार करके रख लो जिससे कि मूव करना आसान नहीं ये नहीं कह रहा कि तुम मैथमेटिका छोड़ दो क्योंकि बहुत सारी रिसर्च ऐसी है जो जिसमें बने बनाए प्रोग्राम बहुत इजिली मिल जाते हैं मैथमेटिका so so keep keep on doing that but many colleges while teaching them they require, they require do do not not have have licenses they do not have, अभी दो साल तो हमें कुछ भी नहीं मिल रहा था सिस्टम ही नहीं थे हमारे पास घर पे बैठे हुए थे ठीक है सॉरी फॉर बैड थ्रोट आई कॉन्ट हेल्प इट जी रिचा योर हैंड्स आर रेस्ड सोनाली हेलो सर या मैं ऑडिबल सर या या सर व्हाट इज द एरर आई गॉट एक्चुअली हियर डिबग मोड ट्रू कैन यू शो मी यस सर यस Sir, if I want to plot this graph, I have this error everywhere. Hmm. What is this function a? I have defined this as a Laplace of sine t. Uh, don't put it in square bracket. This one, yeah. Okay. Run it. Let's see if it is plotting because you have not given the value of s. Where is the value of s? no you can uh, press uh, shift enter there yeah press shift enter let's see if it is plotting or not yes i am pressing shift enter Hmm. Oh, see, you have written a is equal to Laplace. <clears throat> oh, sorry, sir. No, no. You have, you have to run it. Run it. No, no. Don't use this button. Okay, okay, okay. Shift enter. Yeah. is it is it working or not no it is not working remove this a colon is equal to remove this first let us see what is happening okay yeah, run this so you got it okay yes. so now put a uh, this is actually uh, laplace 1 by this so you write instead of a write complete laplace here some complete this Should I copy this? Yeah, uh-huh, yeah, yeah. You copy it, but uh, remove that semicolon. Don't copy that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Put a comma. Yeah. Let's see what it happens. What it does. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah, I will try. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. No problem. Show me what you have done. Down, go down. That's the same thing you are doing again. Okay. 
Uh, this will not work. You, you have put sin x in a square bracket. Remove that. This is fine, but it will not work. Uh, w draw you are using now. Uh, in draw, it will work. This will work, I think. Plot it. But here you have not written explicit. So command is actually wrong. Syntax is wrong. Run it. Run it. You can put cursor anywhere and press shift enter. No need to go at that. Don't worry. I have pressed shift enter, sir. But Achha, uh, it is saying. Uh, I have taken actually from uh, here this plot using draw this 2D and then this which where, which is your this version? This is uh, uh, twenty one point zero five point two something like that. Acha, is it latest? Yes, yes, yes. Then I think it requires some explicit command. Do one thing. You 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 put here a yes, sinx. This is working. Wx plot 2D is working. <laughs> niche wala, niche wala, down, down. This is working. This is working, sir. This is working. Draw me na aapka ek command aati hai, explicit. Aapko wo dalna pade. Okay. Explicit is missing. That's why it is not working. Okay, okay. Actually, uh, and see uh, in plot 2D in sin x, go into sin x and write comma cos x as well. Yaha pe, ha, comma sin cos cos it's fine ha, cos x and then now uh, yes yeah yes sir yes okay uh, uh, is the gamma function is directly here or should we uh, have to then it is here you? gamma is here okay you can take help yes yes and you can find it Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will okay. try. Yes. Okay. Sir. Okay. So, good start. Everybody is looking for their own solution. <laughs> uh, Rita is still hand raised there. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, uh, sir, this game as it is, sorry, who run karengi kya? I am not carrying. I am actually out of town and not. Ah, sab run karengi, sab run karengi. So, Don't sir, worry. So, sir, usme us jo apne bataye percentage bagera and uh, program run karne ke liye wo kaise kam karega? Wo bhi karega. Usme likhe bas vasi shift enter karo. Jaise kar rahe the, sab karta. Main bhi sir, apne sir, iPad pe chala leta hu. Uh, sir, just say arrow. I was trying to put to a name. Share Kar Sakyo. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, लिखो क्या नहीं आ रहा था सर इसमें आरो कैसे लेके आएंगे लाइक कौन सा एरो चाहिए बेटा और जो एरो की जरूरत नहीं है इसमें आप सीधा कमांड लिखो मैंने सीधा ही तो लिखा लिखो फॉर स्पेस आई इज इक्वल टू 1 आई कोलन 1 Okay. Small i, capital I. Which we go small i use karo, through. Okay. Ten. Mm -hmm. Two. Mm -hmm. Print. Do, do. Two ni. Do. Oh, so. Do. Space. Print. Print. Bracket i. Print or I. 
स्पेस नहीं होना चाहिए नहीं रुको तो हाँ उसको साथ में मिलाओ पहले प्रिंट आई को हाँ यहाँ पे लिखो प्रिंट आई उसके बाद सेमी कॉलन डालना जरूरी है मैंने बोला था सेस्का में आप अब आप रन करो क्लिक करो ये ही आ रहा है बड़ी बड़ी प्रोग्रामिंग है रेडिटेक्टेड फॉर का एफ छुप बड़ा क्यों डाला एफ छोटा आह ओके मैं करके देखती हूँ ओके सर हाँ प्रिंट आई में भी अच्छा आई बड़ा आ रहा है आई ये तो बड़े ठीक है माइंड इस दस इस मैक्सिमाइज केस सेंसिटिव सो इफ यू आर यूजिंग कैपिटल आई यूज कैपिटल आई एवरीवेयर ठीक है so you can do most of the things if you are out you can use it here on maxima but when you are doing serious programming then please use the software you cannot do online all right I think sir there is no more question. One hand raised है बस वो इनको बोलो रिचा रिचा को lower hand करना बस बाकी हो गया ठीक है all right let us stop now. Okay if there is any problem I there is a WhatsApp group if uh, any participant have any question put on the WhatsApp group I will discuss on later. So thank you sir for your wonderful and informative lecture. Your lecture. <coughs> Very useful for the all participant. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Dear participants, uh, thank you all for your nice cooperation. Tomorrow again, uh, we will meet at three uh, thirty uh, p.m. for uh, tomorrow session. So thank you, everyone. Anand sir, close. Kar dijiye. Thank you sir. Thank you sir.